Now we are at the first bank of the United States. The country was in need of a bank to deal with the debt obtained during the Revolutionary War. Each state had previously had its own currency, but the goal of the bank was to create a common currency for the nation. The first bank of the United States was originally referred to as the Bank of the United States and was chartered in 1791, but the plans for the bank were not drawn up until 1794, while Philadelphia was still the capital. From 1791 till the opening of the new building, the bank was housed in Carpenter's Hall. The construction on the bank was completed in 1797, and it became known as one of the first examples of monumental design. Part of the reason for the design being so grand with adornments, such as columns, was to remind the people, the public of ancient Greece and the democracy that existed there. On the building, you can also see several models of eagles, which were and still are a national symbol. The bank generated the first debate over constitutional law and interpretations that could or couldn't be made from the document. In 1811, the charter for the bank expired, and Congress voted to abandon both the bank and its charter. The building was then bought by Stephen Girard, who then opened his own bank, named Girard Bank. After his death in 1832, Philadelphia was given ownership of the building, and the bank continued to operate until 1929, where it was left as an abandoned building. In the 1950s, the National Park Service bought the property and added it to Independence National Park, where the building was restored to its appearance in the late 18th century.